Hello, so this is 17 tech tips and tricks to make working from home more productive and fun. Because of the coronavirus, um, a lot of people are suddenly finding themselves uh, working from home for the first time. Technology makes this possible, but beyond the technology you already used in your own job on a regular day, how can you use tech to make it easier to work from remotely? Um, so number one, Try a different app for meeting. Many workplaces are already using Slack for text-based communication, but the software does much more than that. Um, so you can try Slack. I guess with the you can do the video calling with Slack allows you to easily transition from a chat to a video call while the chat remains open so you can still take notes. Um, other people are using Zoom. Um, there's Microsoft team meetings. Uh, so try a different app to keep it interesting, I guess. Two, we create a live office environment. Um, outside of meetings, Slack can also be used to recreate some semblance of the office. Whenever possible, ask your questions in a group channel. Uh, three, share video meetings. Loom is a browser extension that lets you share your screen and record video messages. You can do it both at the same time with the camera bubble feature that shows you taking, um, talking off to the side of your screen recording. Uh, four, create training and presentation videos. Another use um, for Loom is building out a repository of how-to training and um, frequently asked questions videos. Some people use YouTube. I've seen a lot of employers and colleges um, making YouTube videos and setting them up for people to use. Five, share files easily. If your company uses Google Drive and Slack, you can integrate them to automatically import any files when you share them. Um, Six, make your calendar more visible. Seven, stay on top of your to-dos. Um, eight, increase your focus and productivity. Zenware is a type of software that cuts out all the excess bells and whistles and only shows you what's important. Um, this actually seems like an interesting app. For folks who need to heads down writing work, um, try Write Room which blocks out your whole screen, so all you see is um, the text you're writing. Nine, block your biggest distractors. One of my favorite tech apps is called Self Control. Uh, I can put all my websites that I frequently visit that rob me of my productivity time and set a schedule for the app to block those sites. It's terrific when uh, you have a tight deadline to make. 10. Pretend you're in outer space. Having trouble getting a good camera angle for your Zoom meeting? Once your camera is on Zoom, uh, click on a small carrot next to the camera icon and you'll see the option to enable one of the, its virtual backgrounds, including an outer space view and a shot of the Golden Gate Bridge. You can also upload your own images to use as backgrounds for future meetings. So, 11. Brainstorm better. Pin it to me is simple and free. Um, it's pin, P-I-N, it, I, capital I-T, and then T, capital T-O, dot, me. Um, and it's a tool that lets you and a team collaborate as though you're using post-its on a board. Everyone can create their own notes and drag and drop them across the virtual chalk uh, cork board. 12. Liven up your video calls. Like many organizations, um, a lot of companies have, removed, have moved completely to remote and employees are holding all of their meetings on Zoom. Some people are having fun with Snapchats and stuff like that. Um, but you don't need a Snapchat account to use Snap Camera and there are tons of different filter options to use. 13. Pay attention to lighting. Since a lot of face-to-face -face interactions for the best for 
the time being will be through video. Getting your video to look and sound better can make the experience more pleasant for everyone and ensure that you're being understood by your colleagues. Think of your meetings like you would a video interview, albeit a bit less formal. Try to use either natural or softer lighting and if possible, position your lighting source in front of you and your computer. 14. Use headphones with a microphone. Um, when you're in our video call, use headphones with a microphone if you have them, especially if your home has a lot of background noise, and pay attention to where your microphone lands. If your microphone is rubbing against your shirt um, or a beard for the duration of the meeting, others on the call will be able to hear it. Uh, 15. Cut out excess background noise. If you're using headphones and a microphone, but still have trouble with audio in your video calls, you can also try Crisp. Crisp is an app that will mute background noises during your calls. They've introduced a free tier to cut their prices during the COVID-19 pandemic. 16. Hack yourself a second monitor. If you're used to working with a bigger screen that in your laptop has, um, there's an easy way to fix that you can implement right from your couch. Consider using your TV as your desktop as a, or a second monitor. All you need is an HDMI cable. This actually isn't a bad idea, in my opinion, is setting it up like that and then I have that whole screen to look at. <sighs> it actually give me something to look at if I'm doing this. But anyway, 17, give yourself a signal to stop for the day. Overworking as a remote person is a real thing and happens to most. Um, I personally have smart lights to brighten the, and dim with the sun. Well, I don't, but the person who wrote this does. So give yourself a time. I give myself a time limit. I say, okay, I'll, I can be done at such and such time. Or when this one project is over, because this is what's due this week, I can wait to do what's due next week, next week. Anyway, so thanks for watching.